everyone, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna see if we can get this uh, engine to break free in the Firebird. It's been about 24 hours since I sprayed the penetrating oil down the spark plug hole, so let's see if that made a difference. Fingers crossed, but I'm really not hoping for much. So since penetrating oil isn't doing anything, I read online that Arbel Mystery Oil is good at uh, freeing up seized engines. So we have a little extendable doohickey here. Put that in the spark plug hole and dump some of this down each of the cylinders. I'm guessing number four is right at the top because a little bit of oil I dumped down in there is running down the side of the block now. So you really should let this sit in there about 24 hours, but it's in about 24 minutes and I'm impatient, so we're gonna try it anyways, but yeah, give it a good 24 hours before you try turning it over. Yep, that was my light. No. All right, so we're back in the garage here working on the Firebird. That Marvel Mystery Oil's probably been there, eh, I'd say about two weeks. Haven't really had time to work on it. Uh, this thing has been taking up my time. If you pan that way, that is a 79 Dodge Omni with an SRT4 drivetrain in it, which would be like the ultimate sleeper, and I've always wanted one of these cars, but unfortunately it doesn't have any floor pans in it, so I'm pulling the drivetrain from SRT4. It's just a fresh short block with a built 413 in it. Or 65 TH, whatever the whatever the three-speed in the 2000 Neon was, manual valve body high stall converter. That's what that is. There may be a video, but I doubt it because it's just passing through for the drivetrain. Anyway, back to this thing over here. Uh, we're gonna see if this thing turns over by hand. If it doesn't, I'm still gonna put a battery, uh, put a charger to the battery. I don't know if hitting it with the starter, you know, with the power, if it would help, but we're gonna give it a whirl. Let's see what happens. Here goes nothing. And I believe nothing is the right term because it ain't budget. I don't know if it moved just a hair or it's just slipping on the crank bolt and gonna snap the crank bolt, but we're gonna try uh, putting some power to the car now and see what happens. Alright, so it's on the charger. I don't know if it's been on long enough. I'm gonna try starting it here. I can't get in the passenger or the driver's side because it's up against the shelf over there, so. I have to crawl through the passenger side. Let's see what happens. All right, so it's been on for a bit. We're gonna crawl back through here, hit the key, and uh, see what happens. If I have to guess, nothing is gonna happen. So having the Marvel Mist Royal sitting there for like two weeks, yeah, it didn't really do nothing. It's still locked tight, won't turn over by hand, won't turn over with the key. So I rigged up this contraption because I can't find my little doohickey bendy funnel thing. We're just going to pump a little ATF into each of the cylinders. I've heard that it's a good detergent. I'll clean some stuff out too, but I think we're just going to end up pulling this motor and putting something else in. All right, so you can see there that it's totally filled with ATF. We're going to... Let this sit at least overnight and then come back and see what happens. All right, so the ATF has been in the motor for like four or five days now. I'm really not expecting much. I'm very much lowering my expectations and I think this motor's junk, but we're gonna try turning it over by hand and see if anything freed up. You can see I have a jack handle on there for some leverage. This thing is just tighter than a drum. It will not turn over. I mean, I have the top end off the SRT4 motor over here, but it just turns over with a half inch ratchet like a normal functioning engine should. But. Uh, yeah, absolutely nothing. So, I think it's time to put a fork in it because it's done. So, we'll have to come up with plan B or whatever plan we're up to. 
So that's going to wrap up another disappointing video. We've been striking out lately here with the old fire chicken. But uh, that engine sees there's nothing you can do. I mean, you can pull it out, have it rebuilt. I mean, it's a 3-4. Does anybody care? I don't. Um, so I think we're going to go down the LS swap road here in a little bit. Um, you know, if it was just any other V6 Firebird, I really wouldn't care. But uh, this was, like I said in an earlier video, this was her, my mother-in-law's car. She passed from uh, cancer a few years back, so my wife wanted to restore it and uh, just have it drivable, just kind of in memory of her mom. So that's kind of why we're trying to get it going like it was, but that, that's just not going to work here. So, uh, yeah, so anyway, I, you know, it was sitting for like 12 years, so, you know, I figured it needed everything, brakes, tires, suspension, any rubber pieces on the car, plugs, wires, fuel filter, you know, whatever. I just really wasn't expecting a seized engine, but hey, that's... That's where we're at. Uh, I don't know why I'm surprised. My luck's horrible. But uh, <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a video up this weekend just kind of talking about future plans for the car and where we're going to be heading. We're going to be, of course, documenting it all in here. So uh, stay tuned. Follow along. And maybe one day we'll see this fire chicken doing burnouts. Thanks. Later.